Building a home automation system with Arduino IoT Cloud is far easier than building it with the Blink IoT platform. A dashboard on your cell phone is automatically generated which you can use to control things from remote locations if you have access to the internet. The Arduino IoT Cloud remote app can be installed on both iOS and Android cell phones. You can also control your electrical devices through a dashboard from your computer screen. Now the computer dashboard can be quite handy in situations when you have to monitor and control multiple things. As you can see when I turn on a button on my computer dashboard, the same button is also turned on on the cell phone dashboard. The computer dashboard and cell phone app are working together and makes a dual control system which means any electrical device that is turned on or turned off using the computer dashboard can also be turned off or turned on using the cell phone. This video is sponsored by Ultium. Ultium Designer is the world's most trusted PCB design system. Ultium Designer enables engineers to effortlessly connect with every facet of the electronics design process. Over 35 years of innovation and development focused on a truly unified design environment makes it the most widely used PCB design solution. With Ultium Designer, you can create PCB designs with an intuitive and powerful interface that connects you to every aspect of the electronics design process. Route it your way through any angle, tune for delay, push, slide and walk around faster than ever. Interact and collaborate with mechanical designers like never before in a photorealistic 3D design environment. If you want to get started with the Ultium Designer, you can click on the first link in the description. In today's episode, you will learn how to make a home automation system using Arduino IoT Cloud and ESP32 Wi-Fi Plus Bluetooth module. In my previous video tutorial, I explained how to get started with the Arduino IoT Cloud and explained the maximum basic things including how to register an account, how to install the Arduino Create Agent, how to make a dashboard, and how to write a very basic program for monitoring a sensor and for controlling an LED. So I highly recommend watch my previous getting started tutorial on the Arduino IoT Cloud because in this video I will not explain the things which I have already explained. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the circuit diagram which I have already explained in my previous home automation project based on the ESP32 and Blink application. I have explained all the connections in very detail and I have also explained how to solder all the electronic components. Here is my ESP32 development board which can be used for monitoring different sensors and controlling different DC and AC loads. If you want to make the same development board then you can download the Gerber files from my article. Now let's start with the Arduino IoT Cloud. As I have already explained all the steps in my previous getting started tutorial so there is nothing left to talk about. But still, if you find anything difficult to understand, then you can read my article available on electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description.
as you can see the code has been successfully compiled and then finally I uploaded the code and started controlling my 220 volt AC fan and 220 volt AC light bulbs if you have any questions regarding this project let me know in a comment support me on patreon for more videos I hope you liked today's episode like and share this video with your friends see you in next episode and thanks for watching.